crews are making quick progress at the new Red Wings arena, but there's a problem and it's now led to a half million dollars in fines. Before ground was broken on the new arena, there was a deal in place. Yes, more than half of the workers on the project needed to live in the city of Detroit. Well, builders have fallen way short of that mark and that's leading to fines from the city. We bring in Guy Gordon, though. There is a silver lining here, I guess, Guy. There is. If you take the long view, Devin, it means that we're going to have more skilled workers in the future. But for now, they're about 20 percent short of their goal in spite of 13 career fairs and an ongoing recruitment effort. Uh, the problem, according to the city, which is in charge of enforcing that rule, that it isn't a lack of good faith or a lack of commitment to hire. It's a lack of skilled workers. He's a Detroiter, and so is he. They are among the 300 Detroiters working the arena project on an average day. And this apprentice carpenter understands the need to increase the supply of skilled trades workers. Actually, I'm mentoring a few guys now. I actually got them into the trades. And they've been hired. But on an average day, contractors here are still falling 75 workers short of reaching the 51% Detroit goal. Doug Diggs is responsible for recruiting Detroiters on Olympia's behalf. Well, there's a lot of demand for construction workers right now. and We're coming out of a period where there wasn't a lot of construction work. So we saw, you know, what the trades will tell you is a lot of people left the area to find work. The city has fined contractors a half million so far, but says it's proud of Olympia and its contractors' efforts to hire local. It is definitely not a lack of faith. I think they've been committed since the very beginning to work with us to figure out how they can get Detroiters on the project. Here's the silver lining. 100% of the fines go to training future skilled trades workers. Operating engineers say their current supply of workers cannot keep up with growing demand. We got a bridge coming and we're going to build that and that's going to take the majority of our people. And you need that skilled trade to keep going. And we should point out that Olympia is meeting all of its other goals. Uh, one of them is to hire local contractors, local businesses. That level was set at 30 percent. They're hiring almost double that, 60 percent. Nevertheless, those contractors just cannot find enough Detroit-based skilled workers. One of the problems, too, is as soon as they start making money, sadly, some of them move out of the city. We're live for the Little Caesars Arena Project. I'm Guy Gordon, Local 4. Devin, back to you. Guys, fascinating. How this has really been under the radar. I just had guests on Sunday morning. We were talking about how we hadn't heard about any problems with hitting these kind of CBA-style targets, uh, and then here it all comes. So how long have they been missing the target? Well, some contractors were missing it from the beginning. Others missed it some months, made it others. So it's been up and down, but it's really become more of an acute problem as this has really expanded. As yeah. they needed more workers, they had to bring in more outsiders, and that dropped the percentage of Detroiters. It's been amazing at the pace at which, of course, it's gone up. We've all watched that, but it comes with the issues that uh, guys just described. All right, Guy.